Hi, it's Dr. Margaret with Blue Lotus Wellness showing you some things you can do for manual lymph drainage yourself. The best thing to do, even if it's the only thing you do, is diaphragmatic breathing, letting the belly rise on the inhale and lower on the exhale. You can also add a mild, a light counter pressure to the inhale as the belly rises. I'm not pushing down. I'm just kind of giving a gentle resistance as I breathe in and then scoop towards the belly button. The sequence of the hand positions begins on the belly button, then the left lower abdomen, the left upper abdomen, the left lower abdomen again, the belly button again, then the right lower abdomen, like I'm showing here, then it's the right upper abdomen, right lower abdomen again, and then over the belly again. It's also best to have the uh, lower legs elevated as well, like on some pillows, so that you're using gravity to help. You can also do a type of segmental breathing if you want to. As you inhale, you let the belly rise first, and then when that's all the way inflated, then bring the air to the chest, and then on exhale, blow out through the belly first, lower the belly, followed by the chest. Next is sort of prepare the pathways for lymph drainage. First one is at the venous angle. I have my fingertips above my collarbone, just scooping down into the collarbone. Repetitions for each of these strokes is five to seven times. Next is to stimulate the lymph nodes around the neck. Push back, gently stretching the skin back, scooping downwards, and then release. On the shoulders, on the outside of the shoulders, again, stretching up gently the skin, scooping the direction that we want to go, which is towards the neck, and then release. And it's better to do it directly over the skin rather than clothing. And then a second position near the shoulders. Again, that gently stretch the skin up and then scoop towards the neck and release five to seven times. Next, we would stimulate the lymph nodes in the axilla or armpit five to seven times push back and up into the armpit. You can do this one a little bit harder because we're stimulating lymph nodes and the other strokes we're actually stimulating the vessels which lie right underneath the skin so we don't push very hard. If we push too hard it blocks them off. Next I'm just going to prepare the pathway for lymph flow up the side of the body. Pushing back, gently stretching the skin, scooping up and then release. And in reality, uh, I'm going to show the sequence that I would use if somebody had a tummy tuck because I'm going to reroute fluid from the lower abdomen up to the axilla because the tummy tuck incision blocks the normal pathway below the belly button, which is really to the groin instead, okay? So first I started five to seven times going up the side beginning at the level of the belly button to the armpit and then five to seven times above the incision to the level of belly the belly button five to seven times followed by five to seven times all the way up from just above the incision up to the axilla. Now that I prepared the pathway we're going to gently push fluid to the side and up towards the axilla. Again in the case of a tummy tuck I'm going to reroute fluid from the lower abdomen up to the axilla so I can actually start just above the incision and I'm scooping, I'm doing a stretch across the skin, scooping up towards the axilla. I do it in several passes along the front of the trunk. And then after I've done one series of passes across the trunk, I then can keep the scooping motions up the side toward the axilla. You can also lightly push fluid rather than doing the stretch and scoop. And again, if I've had a tummy tuck, I could start just above the incision, moving all the way up across the abdomen. And here's where I've showed I've started below the belly button doing the same thing, but you can do it all at the same time starting below the belly button. And just lightly scooping, sweeping across the skin. Again, the direction of the flow is really the most important thing. Now if I haven't had a tummy tuck, fluid below the belly button in the lower abdomen normally flows down there to the groin, so I stimulate the lymph nodes in the groin, I push in and then up towards the groin in two places, right at the groin, and then a little bit lower and towards the inside of the thigh as the second point, five to seven times. 
I could also prepare the pathway if I wanted to down the side by starting with the belly button and doing a couple little scoops down towards the side and then down. Yeah. And then again, I can do stretch and scooping strokes in two places along the lower of the abdomen and then following the pathway down the side to the groin. I can push a lightly sweep fluid again to the side and then down towards the groin. And again, this is if I don't have a big tummy tuck incision because I don't want to push fluid into the lower abdomen when I have a big long incision because that fluid will just sit there until the lymphatic system heals through that scar or incision, which can be 12 weeks, sometimes less, sometimes more. You can do the exact same thing on the back of the trunk. Again, if I've had a tummy tuck, I could start in the lower back, scooping all the way up along the side and towards the axilla. I can sweep across the back up in several places and then, then do a stroke up the side there. Again, five to seven times, stimulate the axillary lymph nodes at any time in between a series of strokes. Now, even if I've had a tummy tuck, if my tummy tuck incision ends right at my side, I can actually pull that fluid in the lumbar region to the side, but still behind that tummy tuck incision, and then scoop it down towards the groin. I could even gently pull from the front to the side, past the incision, and then down towards the groin, kind of rewriting around the incision. Again, five to seven times each time, and then I'm just repeating my stimulation at the venous angle at the clavicle, the neck lymph nodes like I did in the beginning, and the two places on the front of the shoulder. It's always good to end up again with some diaphragmatic breathing, whether sitting or lying down. When you're lying down, gravity helps you a bit more. There's really the lymph fluid is flowing up through the abdomen towards that venous angle near the neck. Another technique that's easy to do yourself is dry brushing. Lots of videos about that. I've stimulated the axillary lymph nodes again. I could have also started with stimulating the venous angle, the neck lymph nodes. And across the abdomen, I'm just doing again. If I've had a tummy tuck incision, I can start just above the incision, moving all of the lower and upper abdominal fluid up towards the axilla. Again, rerouting with some the lower abdomen up. If I don't have that tummy tuck incision, I can do that lower abdominal fluid down towards the groin. So it's just a little light brush, 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 brush in the direction we want it to go. And again, I can also, again, if I don't have a tummy tuck incision, I can sweep on diagonals across the lower abdomen towards the groin because the end point is the groin. You can also do MLD on the arms and legs. I'm going to drain the arm. We stimulate the axillary lymph nodes five to seven times, and then five to seven times on the back and the front and the inside of the arm. Five to seven times each one. You can use the dry brush as well, gentle stroking. If I needed to do the lower part of the arm, I would still do the upper part of the arm first from the elbow to the shoulder and then the lower part of the arm from the wrist to the elbow and then if I wanted to go back and do all the way along from the wrist to the shoulder you could do that as well and we can do lymph drainage in the legs same way the legs drain to the inguinal lymph nodes I can do the dry brushing again gently stroking towards the groin side of the leg front of the leg back of the leg inside of the leg five to seven times up each one and if I needed to do the lower leg, I would still do the upper leg first from the knee to the hip. And if I needed to do lower leg, I would then go five to seven times each side of the lower leg from the ankle to the knee. And then if I wanted to go all the way up from the ankle to the hip a few times after that, you can as well. Then I'm using a soft bristle brush. Uh, this is a natural bristle brush, um, which is a little bit softer. Eco, -tool Eco Tools also makes a synthetic version.